Hey guys, Iron here. And um we are playing KSP and we're actually using the Keysane mod and um what's the other one? Mac Jab and uh we're in version one point nine point four something. 1.9.1.45 I think I don't really know I don't really care and um, right now we are building a satellite to send to the moon and to the outside of Kerbin and um, here as you can see um, we barely finished doing the the whole ship on the top we have three uh, satellites equipped with a uh, ion engine um, a couple of solar panels and a uh, keythane satellite and right now we are about to send it to space launching it and um, yeah we have a lot a lot a lot of um, rockets in this mofo um, and basically what I want to do is just send it to space and uh, yeah and right now we are we're gonna be skipping some steps so it isn't that tedious to watch. Um, we're about to go into lower atmosphere, or I mean higher, medium, I don't know the um, bluish, um, sky blue. I guess, and right now, as you can see, you can see the uh, effects, the effects of the new version. Well, you can barely see them. And we are just starting to make our burn to circularize our orbit. <coughs> and as soon as we get into orbit, we get into like a 300k orbit. I know it's too much, but uh, that's why I like it. I like to uh, just have a good orbit. And right now, should be about. We're about to drop our first um, probe satellite. We circularized our orbit, and you can see. Let's see how it works. Say a little C, but as you can see, the got the uh, iron engine. And one of my problems, or I mean, um, I thought it was gonna be a problem, was that I was launching the whole thing in uh, at night, so uh, I was pretty much scared that it would. Just not work, but I, it had enough energy. And uh, where's the map? It is starting to to scan <coughs> planet Kerbin. And uh, let's just see it, see how it looks in the in the sun, so we can appreciate it better. Um, for some reason, my game just the sound of my game wasn't recorded, but it will be recorded on the next um, couple of <coughs> on the next couple of uh, videos. So don't worry much about that. And look at the, uh, this beauty! It is so so cool. There's the the satellite, the scanner on top of the probe. 
Uh, yeah, we're about to just start making our uh, way to the moon um, to get an encounter with it. And uh, let's see how we do this. We are gonna be getting in a um, fairly low orbit, uh, about a hundred to seventy uh, k. Cause I believe I'm not sure if the if by the closer the satellite is scanner from the moon or Earth, it will work better I, I believe so so uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see All right now yep we're just setting it up I think we uh, at the end just used the uh, mag jab to help us out getting the encounter is just more uh, it's just easier and I could do it myself but uh... you know when you can make the computer do it you just do it and uh, I'm running a uh, fairly basic setup for my uh, travel traveling uh, we got uh, about seven um, nuclear rockets I think that's what they're called and uh, you know a uh, small tank of liquid fuel just does it you don't need any more than that um, I mean and seven of those are a pretty good pretty good amount to uh, to get to anywhere in the in the Kerbal system Kerbin system, yeah, that's what it called, yeah. And I mean, you can go to Minmus. It only uses a, like 200 more delta p than going into the moon. Well, at least for me. And you can also land. Um, I'll show you in a bit, like how much fuel it. It ends up with here. We already have the counter. We are about to start circularizing our orbit, uh, and as you can see, we're at we have used two thirds of the fuel we have. Um, We are done circularizing and we're going to um, just send the two probes or the two satellites and uh, you might think um, why am I sending two two satellites if only you can only work it as one uh, but the point is, I mean, only one works at a time. But the point is, um, maybe one would have gotten um, just destroyed or something. Or I don't know. I always like to have a backup plan. And here we go. Let's just decouple them. And First, let's close matchup. No one that bothering us. And we're gonna send them in a very close orbit between them. Distance. Yeah, that's a better word. Between them. And but later on, it will become like kilometers of distance. And as you can see, there's some particle effects. That I just love out of MacJab. And uh, let's start this baby up. Turn on this engine. 
And here we go. I mean, it's a fairly basic um, design. I mean, you can do it better, just maybe like. I don't know. Maybe I can just put like a little probe in them that uh, you can launch into the planets you're around and um, just to look at what the gravity and whatnot temperature is there and uh, yeah really but I think I really did a good job making these these space kind of type satellites and uh, they have about 950 uh, electric charge each uh, opening them and they look so cool when you do that and let's let's see the map how it starts mapping out <coughs> and we're just I'm gonna leave this here, and maybe uh, later on we can send uh, another ship to get it back home, or just um, refuel with uh, lots of fuel that it has. Maybe it, I think it has like 800 more liquid fuel. And there's the map. Uh, we have given it a couple of um, rotations around, and um, that'll be all for this episode. See you next time, guys.